Did you know that an apple never actually fell on Sir Isaac Newton's head? That's right, in a world where history is seen through the lens of textbooks and stories passed down from generation to generation, have you ever stopped to wonder if those stories were actually true? Many of the historical truths you've come to believe are, in fact, widely accepted myths. Today, we'll debunk some of these widely accepted tales and challenge the way you perceive history. Hold on to your seats, because the world as you know it is about to be turned upside down. Let's dive into the historical facts you still believe to be true. Number 10. The Story of Vincent van Gogh's Ear You have probably heard the tale of Vincent van Gogh, the brilliant artist who cut off his ear in a fit of romantic madness and gave it to his lover, Sam who happened to be a prostitute. Well, it's time to set the record straight and unveil the real story behind this episode. Back in the year 1883, Vincent van Gogh left his lover Sane to pursue his dream of becoming a painter in Drenthe. Fast forward a few years later in Arles, France, where the real story unfolds. Vincent was sharing his artistic journey with another fellow painter, Paul Gauguin, yet their relationship was anything but smooth sailing. During an argument on December 23, 1888, Vincent and Gauguin's relationship took a dark turn. It is said that Vincent picked up a knife, the same knife he threatened Gauguin with during their fight, and cut off a chunk of his own ear. The following day, the police discovered Vincent in his bed, where he apparently had no memory of the event. Many experts theorize, however, that to protect Gauguin from prosecution for threatening Van Gogh with a fencing sword, the story was altered. Number 9. Thomas Edison Invented the Light Bulb This will be a huge shocker, but Thomas Edison did not invent the light bulb. The concept of the light bulb has been around since the early 1800s. In 1802, Humphrey Davy invented the first electric light, an arc lamp. Although arc lamps were very bright, they were also very inefficient and short-lived. Yet, his arc lamp was a significant advancement at that time. Similarly, Frederick de Molaines, also known as Lord Rosmead, came up with another brilliant idea. He found a way to make the light brighter than that of Davy's. He used powdered charcoal and heated it between two platinum wires. Both Davy and Rosmead made major contributions to light technology. However, their contributions were not practical enough. This is where Thomas Edison comes in. In 1879, Edison created a long-lasting electric bulb. He worked hard on making a light bulb that would last 600 hours. In a way, Davy and de Molins were the explorers who found a new land, but Edison was the one who built houses so that people could actually live comfortably. Number 8. The Salem Witch Trial Next is the Salem Witch Trial. Most of us are familiar with the brutalities of the Salem Witch Trial. This was a long time ago when people accused others of practicing witchcraft. Twenty innocent people, including women and children, were hanged, whereas 144 were imprisoned. But hold on, this was nothing compared to what went on during the European witch trials. Historians report that a hundred thousand innocent lives were lost over a span of centuries. Most of the persecuted were older women. The trials also damaged the reputation of the Catholic Church, which was seen as being responsible for many of the executions. So while Salem's story is haunting, the European witch trials turned up the scare factor. Imagine entire communities gripped with fear and darkness. Number 7. Albert Einstein Failed Math Let's talk about the brilliant physicist Albert Einstein, who changed the world of science forever. You might have heard of the common myth that Einstein as a child was terrible at mathematics. But guess what? That's not the whole story. Einstein was actually a total genius. He didn't flunk math. He aced it. When Einstein was just 11 years old, his reading list included college-level physics books. He was diving into advanced stuff while most of us were still figuring out multiplication. Now, here's a fun twist in the story. Einstein did stumble a bit on his path. He once failed an entrance exam for a technical college when he was 16, but he only failed because the exam was in French, and Einstein was not fluent in the language. His journey led to some of the most amazing discoveries ever. His contributions to physics forever transformed our understanding of the universe. Number 6. Medieval People Believed the Earth Was Flat 
Let's move on to debunk another famous myth. We have all heard that people in the Middle Ages used to believe that the Earth was flat until Christopher Columbus proved them otherwise. This was not the truth. In fact, many ancient Greeks, such as Aristotle and Pythagoras, were aware of the Earth's roundness. Aristotle even argued that the Earth casts a round shadow on the Moon during a lunar eclipse. But that's not all. Many Islamic scholars and scientists wrote about the Earth's roundness during the Islamic Golden Age. A great example is Al-Biruni, who wrote extensively about this and even calculated the Earth's circumference. To summarize, the concept of a spherical Earth was not revolutionary during the Middle Ages. The idea that there was a widespread belief in a flat Earth during this time is indeed a common misconception. Number 5. Gandhi was responsible for liberating India Next up, we have a common misconception about India's greatest leader, Mahatma Gandhi. Many people believe that Gandhi was single-handedly responsible for liberating India from British colonial rule. However, even though Gandhi's contributions were significant to India's independence, he was not the only one responsible for freeing India. Other key leaders also include Jawaharlal Nehru and Subhas Chandra Bose. Not only that, other parallel movements such as the Civil Disobedience Movement and Quit India Movement were also taking up arms against the British. Moreover, the constant boycott of British goods and the general decline of the British Empire after World War II made it economically unfavorable for them to hold on to India. Number 4. Sir Isaac Newton discovered gravity when an apple fell on his head. Did you know an apple didn't fall on Isaac Newton's head? In the 17th century, Newton made tons of discoveries, but his most important one was the discovery of gravity. His friend William Stukeley, who wrote a book about Newton's life, said that Newton was just sitting in his family garden when he saw an apple fall from a tree. The apple did not hit his head, but the falling apple did get him thinking. This led him to come up with a discovery that shook our world. Gravity. As time went by, people evolved the story's original version, and this is how we got the famous apple hitting his head tale. Number 3. Catherine the Great Have you ever heard the wild rumor about Catherine the Great's, um, interest in her horse? Many stories claim that the Russian Empress died while getting intimate with a horse. People said the horse fell on the 67-year-old Empress, ending her life. This is one of the many ways that powerful women throughout history have been discredited or slandered in order to destroy their legacies. However, this great patron of the arts had no interest in her horse and passed away peacefully in her room from a stroke. Number 2. All Gladiators Were Slaves You've seen those epic movies like Gladiator and Spartacus, right? Where they show gladiators as helpless slaves, thrown into the arena and forced to fight to the death just for the entertainment of Roman elites. Well, that's more Hollywood than actual history. Let's tell you the real deal. In addition to slaves, many people themselves chose the path of a gladiator. Some were in it for the fame, the glory, the roaring crowds, and of course, the potential for money. Among their ranks were ex-soldiers, knights, and even some elite Romans wanting to flex their muscles. And here's a twist. Women also stepped into the arena for several centuries. That's a side of gladiatorial combat the movies rarely ever show. Number 1. Walt Disney Created Mickey Mouse Here's another misconception that might surprise many of you. You've all heard of Mickey Mouse, the famous face that made Walt Disney a big name in Hollywood. But here's a twist that not everyone knows. Walt Disney didn't actually come up with Mickey Mouse from scratch. Let's rewind a bit. Before the world met Mickey Mouse, Disney had another character called Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. Disney and his team made 26 Oswald cartoons. But somehow, Disney lost the rights to Oswald, to Universal. Disney needed a new character. This is where Ub Iwerks, a brilliant animator, comes in. With a bit of reimagining, Ub turned Oswald the Rabbit into Mickey the Mouse. Yet, Disney got most of the credit and even ended up winning the 1932 Oscar for inventing the character. Remember, history is not always as it seems. So question, explore, and find the truth behind the myths.